Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful weekend. Look at outside. Hello, gorgeous. So this morning Flynn had a fun little class and so I took him to that and Eric took the babies to the library. It's the first time we'd ever taken the babies to the library and they loved it. There's a lot of cool stuff for them to do there. There's like toys and obviously there's lots of books but they also have like a little train set and like Duplos and a little kitchen and puzzles and just tons of stuff so they loved that. And then we just hung out as a family, had a little nice Saturday afternoon, went for a little walk, got some lunch and the twins were chasing each other to give each other hugs, which was very cute. So I'm gonna show you guys all that right now. What's that? Did you do this? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I see this. Do I see this one? Can I see it? That's beautiful. What's he did? I'm gonna see this. I made him hug. Oh, 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 oh. And then I just cuddled the babies for their little nappy time and I'm gonna hang out with Flynn. The babies were very cute as I was cuddling them before nap time. Daisy, how old are you? Are you two? No, a three. How old is mommy? Twenty-four. Oh, thank you. Isn't that so cute? I think some of my rocks are finished polishing today. And I'm very excited because I think two tumblers are going to be free for me to start new batches of rocks. Very exciting stuff. All right, it's time to look at some rocks and see if they're finished. Flynn's with me. We're inventors today. So we've been inventing some stuff. Flynn's inventing. What are you inventing today, Flynn? I'm a mechanic today and I invented a drone. Hmm, a drone. These rocks are the rocks that I just can't get polished and I've been working on them for months. They just might be the type of rocks that don't polish. This is the last time I'm trying. I'm not trying after this anymore. So if they aren't polished today, we're done. Three, two, one. A little bumpy. I just have to wash these with soap, dry them really good, and we'll see if they polish. I also have a whole other barrel that I'm hoping is polished. This one might not be ready yet because I'm taking it out a little early because I'm extremely impatient. Are we surprised? No, we are not. Let's see. These are looking promising. Washing my hands, I always wash my hands after working with rocks because they'll look grit and then sometimes I use borax to clean it and just always wash my hands like a hundred times after doing rocks. But anyway, washing my hands and I think I have some bad news. The big batch of rocks looked very promising. However, when I was rinsing them, they didn't feel like polished rocks. I was like, these feel like they've been banged up a little bit. And so I went through everything and inside I found this, this. So sometimes in the rock tumbling process, the rocks will break apart, which is fine, that happens. But the problem is that sometimes they're very sharp when that happens. And when you're in the final polishing stage, you don't want anything sharp in there. You don't want anything that's gonna rough it up and scratch it up. The only time you want that situation is stage one when you're trying to grind the rocks down. This part right here is like so freaking sharp, it's like a needle. These little scratchy rocks scratched up all the rocks, so. <laughs> rocks are currently in the final moment of polishing, which is I rinse them off, I've cleaned them, and now they're tumbling for a couple hours with some, why is my camera wanting to look it out the window? Anyway, the rocks are tumbling with some borax and just cleaning for an hour or two, and then we'll see if they polished or if I have to start over. Okay, let's look at these rocks. Okay, so these are the rocks that I could not get to polish, and look, they kind of polished. Like, some of them still look a little dull, but for the most part, I'm pretty pleased. So you can see this one doesn't have a very good polish on it. See, look, there's a little bit of shine there. This one got kind of shiny, which is nice. This one's got some cool texture to it. I don't know what the heck this rock is, but I like it. This one, same thing. It's kind of like glittery almost. This rock's just weird, but I'm into it. Yeah, I feel like they did okay at polishing this time around. I'm not doing it again, so it's fine. The other tumbler actually did polish all those rocks, even with little sharp ones in it. And these are the small rocks from that big rock tumbler. I don't know why I was doing this with the light, by the way. I thought it would like show off how shiny they were, but really just like, stupid. <laughs> anyway, these are just the tiny rocks. I separated the tiny ones from the big ones 
ones, but I just want to show you these cute little rocks first, and I'm going to show you a comparison with my hand, just so you can see how tiny they are. They're cute. They're fun. But these rocks, these are the big rocks. And oh my god, you guys, I'm so obsessed with so many of these rocks. You have no idea. Like, here's the hand comparison. You can see they're bigger rocks. Look at this. We're going to start with the biggest one. So this one's just like a big old hunk of quartz. So you can see here it got scratched up by stuff inside the tumbler. That's not supposed to happen, but I'm not retumbling this boy because it just took me way too long. So I don't care that I got dinged up a little bit. This one might be my favorite. It looks like an autumn tree, like a beautiful painting of like a fall mossy tree. I am obsessed. Look at those gorgeous fall colors. I think this is so pretty. I think it's some sort of a jasper or some, maybe it's a agate jasper. I don't know. I love it. This one's super cool. It's like crackly and gold. There's a little window to the sole of the rock. This rock didn't polish as well as I thought it was going to, but it's still really cool. I don't know what it is. It's just like a bunch of little rocks within a big rock. And here's another one of those rocks with a bunch of little windows in it. I just want to look inside of it and see what's inside of it. Whoop. I dropped it. See, here's another example of how scratched up they got. But anyway, um, this one's cool. It's got like a cute little foggy window and there's some pretty gold sparkles in it. I love it. Here's another flaky gold moment of cuteness. I love this rock. I don't know what it is, but I'm super into it. I think it's so cool, the markings on it. Another rock of a bunch of rocks. I just love these with like all that glassy window agate. Yeah, I just think they're so pretty. I'm so happy with this whole entire polished set. Look at all my beautiful rocks. I love rocks so much. I put them in a shape of a heart. I need to get a life. Um, those are my rocks. It's Sunday. Yep. That's something for you. What is it? Life is um, a lot different than it used to be. I, every time I try to vlog, it's like, hi. And then someone's like, mama. That happens often. I usually cut it out. Every time I try to vlog or work or do kind of anything. Pee, eat, mama. Anyway. <gasps> Is it for me? Uh -huh. For real? fun and while we're there I stopped at Ulta so maybe I'll do a little Ulta haul for anyone who cares which is probably nobody but I was picking up a birthday gift for my nanny and then I was like wait but I kind of want to get some things so I got a few things so we'll go through that later but twins are napping I have so many things that I want to be doing that I need to be doing right now but I have to do laundry laundry is my least favorite thing I don't know dishes are pretty bad too I think but I think laundry is my least favorite chore I really hate doing laundry other families of five especially families of five with little kids like little messy little love to play in the mud and in the rain and the dirt kids. Do you do laundry like multiple times a day? Like how do I keep up with this? <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna do laundry and I'll see you guys later. We decided to get some fresh air and hang out with the chickens and I'm playing with some chalk and some trucks. You'll be right back, okay. Wesley, what are you doing? Hey, you got my car. Hello. What baby? I missed you. Hi, I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, bye. I guess she's gone. Mama? Yeah? I miss you. Hi. I miss you. I miss you too. I miss you too. Yeah. Where did you go? I go to the house. Oh, wow. I miss your house. That's your house? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, that was cute. Wesley's new thing is to pretend to crash or fall down and we have to rescue him. It's not that new. It's just something I haven't really ever shown you guys. But he has been doing it a lot more than he usually does. And he was doing it at the farmer's market today. <laughs> he just, he literally just did it. What happened? <laughs> You're stuck. Oh, no. You okay now? Come on. Help. Hello. Hello. Ah, help! Wesley! He's not coming. Not coming help. at all. Help me, chickens! Oh, Maisie's gonna help. Ugh. Thank you, Maisie. Oh, no, Wesley crashed! Can you help? Mama, Mama crashed me. Oh, sorry. I'll crash next to you. Okay. Ah, we crashed! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! We just got some really horrible news. I went to go downstairs to our little basement area to grab a couple of bows, because that's where we keep like holiday decorations and wrapping paper, things like that. And so I know there's a box of wrapping bows down there. And the basement is flooded. 
So it's rained a lot in the last few weeks and we have not had any reason to go down to that little basement area because why would we need to go down and get Christmas decorations or whatever? So I had no idea that it had flooded. Oh my, oh wow. What happened? It's dirty. Yeah, did you put it in some water? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna have to wash this now. It's all yucky. You want me to wash it? Okay. Okay, well, I gotta go. <laughs> Hi, okay, first of all, I'm cold. Oh my God, this is the first sweater I found in my office and I'm not even mad about it. Okay, anyway, um, I need some goodness in my life because of, I'm just stressed. Don't worry, everybody, I didn't forget. I'm gonna show you everything I got at Ulta, which is actually not even very exciting. Oh my God, of course, a freaking course. Daisy, why are you so obsessed with my camera? Okay, I'm stressed. So yes, our basement flooded. I can't tell you much more information right now because I don't know much more information. Our basement area has never flooded before. We've had way bigger storms than what we've had in the last few weeks, but we have had a lot of rain like on and off. However, even though we've never had issues with any Anything flooding we still put like sandbags around the door to the basement we still put sandbags around any entrance point to the basement etc and I'm just taking myself for not thinking to just check after the rain like every time it rains I should just be checking to see if there's any damage or if anything happened and I just didn't I just didn't think about it because it's never happened before so I just feel stupid but yeah it's not like crazy bad but it was like probably five inches or six inches of just like sitting water down there and obviously we have people coming in the morning to work on it and check on it. Eric got the water out. He got like a pump and got all the water out of there. And I have not been down there since he did that because it's late and I just don't want to think about it because I'm really stressed out about it and I'm really sad about it. We don't know how long the water has been down there. We don't know if like our drainage system stopped like this most recent time that it rained or when it rained a couple weeks ago. So we don't know how long that water has been sitting in our basement. Also, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. <laughs> I'm stressed because all of my Christmas decorations, all of my holiday decorations, boxes of memories, and just so many things, and I'm terrified that it's all like ruined. Also something that I know confidently is ruined is my lipsticks. It's not that big of a deal. Like I don't sell my lipsticks online anymore, but, but I was storing a good chunk of my Miranda lipsticks and my personal like Daisy May lipsticks. There's sentimental of things behind it. And I, you know, I give them away at things. Like I give them away for the Childhood Cancer Fundraiser last year. Year. I don't know. It's a cool thing to me that like I got to make lipstick and have my own lipstick for a while. Well, I it's, I'm very confident that got ruined. I haven't checked, but like I just know that it was. If it was sitting down there with mildewy water, like I just obviously like that cannot be used. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we check on that and see what the damage is because I'm not going down there today. So we'll just have to check on it tomorrow. And you know what? Honestly, stay tuned for tomorrow to go through this too. I am tired. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed. So I'm going to do that. Here, I'll show you one thing. We'll try it on together. I wanted to try the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. It's a shiny lip balm. I got a couple different colors, but oh, she clicks. Wait, where does it go? What, what's the click do? Does the click do something? What's the purpose of the click? Oh, it's going up just really slowly. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a good feeling lip balm. Thick, but not cakey, not sticky. It just feels really buttery. Hello. Okay, next, get into it. Cute, love. Okay, anyway, I'll show you the rest tomorrow and I'll show you the basement, I guess, or tell you what happened in the basement. I don't know, I'm really scared. I haven't even talked to Eric about it. He's the only one who has seen anything down there because he was pumping water for hours out of the basement. But like, I like, I, I don't even want, I'm just, I'm very stressed about it. It's not the end of the world. It's not a deal it's just stuff we'll fix it and everything will be fine it's just one of those things in life that's just a little stressful and just overwhelming thanks for watching today everybody leave lots of tortilla talk questions because i have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a hectic one i will show you the makeup and i will talk more about the basement when i know what's going on but other than that i think i might just do a tortilla talk tuesday after that and just answer a bunch of questions tomorrow night we can just sit and chill and chat with the cat and it will be lovely and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay bye